Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniff another Madden cheese as always. Got another full breakdown video for you today. Today I'm doing the offensive Cardinals playbook, uh, which was probably the newest playbook this season. Uh, definitely, you know, something uh, worth checking out because this to me is probably the future of Madden uh, because the NFL is getting more and more college-based and the Cardinals offense tries to borrow a lot of college concepts. I can't wait to see the Carolina Panthers playbook next year, Madden 21, uh, which uh, Joe Brady's offense from LSU, which was absolutely absolute fire i can't wait to see what madden puts into that uh, and i think they're going to basically borrow a lot of stuff from this playbook from the cardinals so i'm putting this out uh this is definitely going to be one of my favorite playbooks going forward into the future uh so full breakdown this is part one if you guys want to see part two hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as always other than that let's go and let's get right into the video next up we got the stretch Nice even formation. I mean, you can run this. You know, the good thing about these type of even formations is you can run this ball to either side, and your opponent's never really going to have a clue. I mean, there's no dominant side. So there's like if you have two Titans on one side and no Titans on the other side, typically your opponent knows where you're going to run the ball. But in an in in even formation like this, you can run it either way. You can look for holes in your opponent's defense. Like right there, I actually made a mistake. Like here, I got the cover three safety on the one side. So why would I run it over there? Obviously, I'm going to run it to the other side. And then that guy broke through anyway, so it didn't even matter. But you can make those type of determinations. Um, you know, pre-snap, and there's no, you know, you can flip the play with your with your right stick, and there's no way that your opponent's going to know what's going on. So, like I said, right stick, you can run to the open side of the field, you can run it to uh, whatever side you feel like you have the best blocking advantage. It's not the best play ever, it's not like a home run play or nothing like that, it's like some of the plays that I put out. But you can dink and dunk this way uh, by running the ball pretty much the entire game, and then you, you have your inside runs as well, and your opponent's never really going to catch on to where you're going. Next up, we got the jet touch pass. Just make sure you got somebody faster than I do at the, uh, the slot receiver spot. You can see that block really uh, lays. That's a really important block by the running back there as he comes around. It's one of the better type of plays like that because you have that additional blocker uh, who can really, you know, I can really spring it. If you take a loss, you're not taking much of a loss. Because you're running it so close to the line of scrimmage, this is not a play where you can take a huge loss. Um, you know, and like I said, that running back is just key to getting the edge. But like I said, just making sure you have a faster receiver than I have running it. Next up out of the pistol doubles Y off, we have the PA cross. This is a good one play touchdown against cover four. All I got to do is block the running back. I can even block the A route um, if I need more time. But ultimately, you can see this, this receiver right here just gets passed and then I accidentally messed up the route um, after, the, after the throw. But you can see, I mean, it's just a really... You know, it's easy how it just gets past the defense. So I'm just going to buy time. And like I said, once he gets inside that safety, I don't know, I'm messing up the throw. But you can see he's getting past it. I may be pass leading a little bit too hard. That's it right there. Maybe I didn't set my feet or something. But you can see right there, he just gets past the cover four. You just have to wait till he gets inside of that safety. And then you can see it's a really good play. Other than that, I mean, I could also put the, put the X route in a drag. You got a really good high low coming across the middle. Um, you know the tight end if he's open right away under cover two, or cover, cover three and cover four, you can take that. You got the deep crossing route. I mean, it's a really good play. There's plenty of good options on a regular pass play, not just a cover four play. Yeah, and the drag, the drag won't really mess up the timing of the cover four play either. Um, it'll still have the same effectiveness. So, like I said, run it like that, and you'll have a, a good play against just about everything. Next up, we got the stretch alert bubble. I mean, I really like these, um, you know, these stretch plays are really good, so that'd probably be the play nine times out of ten. But I'm also watching to see what this slot cornerback does on the bubble screen. And once again, I don't have a very fast guy running this, but you can see I'm getting five yards easy with a very slow to accelerate receiver. So just keep an eye on that one cornerback and to see if they if they if they react in towards the run, then you can basically hit the bubble screen. But if they don't sit right here, I mean that's just you know like I said I don't really have a good guy running this, but he's still getting five yards, still falling forward for five every time. 
But if he doesn't react, like right here, he reacts inside towards the run, I can make that bubble screen adjustment and just get, you know, close to 15 with a slow receiver. So, you know, just keep an eye on that inside defender. Keep an eye on the defender right over the Y route. Next up, we have the halfback stretch. This play is really uh, a really a good play um, if you're spreading your the way the way the field's spread. I mean, you're just going to see a lot of run lanes to the outside, even though it doesn't look like it with the blocking. I mean, you only have you have a four wide receiver set, but for whatever reason, you're pretty much just going to get a really consistent outside run. You can flip the play, like right here, the linebackers over to the right side, so I can flip the play, go left side. And, uh, you know, it should be, but it's, it, mostly it's going to be consistent either way. So it doesn't really matter, but uh, but it's a really nice run play. Next up at the pistol spread, we got the jet touch pass. Let's go and pick that. So, you know, you can see this is just an average sweep play, a jet sweep. Uh, it can be pretty successful, especially if you can spread the defense with the four wide look. Um, you know, you, you, can, you can definitely find some running lanes. Um, but you just want to, you know, sprint. I mean, I'm not really using a great running receiver for this but you see you can just sprint to the sideline and turn up I think right probably is a 90 speed um, if he is he's not much higher than that but like I said it's all you need it's good enough and it's a good trick play to throw in so we're gonna do this one more time like I said, you can see the consistency of it for whatever reason receivers are really good blockers <laughs> and once I get past the line I'm pretty much golden so there we go. Well, we we're finally, we finally got somebody that catches us, but I still got about four yards just by making a guy miss. So if you have a really dynamic receiver, obviously this is a good play to run. <laughs> just make sure you substitute that guy before you before you pick the play. Next up out of the pistol spread, we have the Y corner. Very similar setup uh, to a, a previous play that I put out. Uh, McCaffrey, you're pretty much just going to hit him immediately, although I hit the button <laughs> too early. Like, you can hit the button too early and nothing happens. You gotta wait for that icon to pop up. It's best to run these type of plays as far to the left sideline as possible, because obviously McCaffrey's like the first read, and he's almost the second read, third read. He's what makes this play so special is that, that route. You don't have a lot of routes like that. But you also have, I mean, the zig route on the other side is pretty good. Like I said, I mean, he's a really good man-beating route, the, the, the zig route this year, and for people that like to run man, so I'll take that. I also think that the um, the, the, the A route's pretty good, too. I'm going to find a scenario for that. Like, that was a man coverage. You beat that up pretty good. If it's a cover two, the A route will get open as is. This looks like it could be a cover three, so if I streak that B receiver, that'll help him get open against cover threes. Like I said, right there, that's essentially what it was. So, you know, just some really, really good routes all over the field. If it's a cover four, also, the um, <laughs> the X route should be a one play against that. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll pick a cover four real quick. I'm going to hit this running back in the flat, though, because like I said, this is this is really makes this play nice. There's other plays in the game that are like the other routes. Oh. Next up out of the pistol spread, we got the Z under. I like this uh, this route that uh, McCaffrey's running. I mean, it's just gonna just owns to the sideline uh, for a nice, quick catch and run. Uh, this whole formation has some uh, pretty cool catch and run routes like that, uh, but it's not the only play. I mean, the A the A route is pretty good. Um, I guess a lot of things. You got to make your mind up pretty quick though. You're, you're hitting this quick hitter. You're not because you can see how it sends me a little bit too far to the boundary. Um, if it's a cover three, I mean, it should be a pretty easy diagnosis. Um, even a man coverage. I mean, not a lot of things are going to stop this 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 route to the running back. So let's go ahead and do this. Just, I mean, I'm just just spitballing. Like I said, cover two is going to stop it. Cover two um, hard flats. You can see right there. If I want to make some other options, I could put uh, more here on an in route underneath uh, Hogan, and that'll give me um, you know two levels of passing over the center. Uh, as you can see right there, I mean they're crossing routes as well. Um, you know, I, I think I'd probably rather put um, put this uh, Samuel, what Sam is doing, put him either, you know, streak so that they're not intersecting so closely. Um, but that'd be about it. And like I said, I mean, this is obviously the play, but you got to throw it quick so you can get a nice, easy, smooth catch and run, turn up the field. 
Like I said, see if I can tie this pro perfectly. Right out there, right out there, and then turn up the field. You know what I'm saying? Easy play, easy play. If it's a cover two, um, right will get open as is. But if it's a cover three, all you got to do is streak Samuel. And that'll pull the, the coverage back for the A route to come open just pretty immediately. So keep that in mind. I mean, you can beat pretty much whatever coverage you want with that with that theory. Um, even cover four, it should get outside of cover four for the most part. Um, you just have to, like I say, you just have to streak them. Bullet, pass lead, and you're going to get past that for a big play down the field. So you don't have to rely just on the running back. You have another pretty reliable option. Next up, we got the stretch alert X looky. So just a good stretch play with a with a pass play behind it. Like I said, you get a really big lane there. You can see how these receivers really spread out the defense. Uh, but you know, you just I would say this is probably the best way to, to just run like this time after time, and then every every once once in a while hit him with with a pass just to keep him off guard. But mostly it's about the run play. Like I said, I tried to throw it back there a little bit too late and I got sacked. But it's mostly about the run play. Like I said, you have that option where you can just, you know, keep them on their toes, man. Don't just let them see the same thing over and over. These are really good for that. Next up, we got the stretch alert X looky. So just a good stretch play with a, with a pass play behind it. Like I said, you get a really big lane there. You can see how these receivers really spread out the defense. Um, but, you know, you just, I would say this is probably the best way to, to just run like this time after time. And then every, every once, once in a while, hit them with, with a pass just to keep them off guard. But mostly it's about the run play. Like I said, I tried to throw it back there a little bit too late and I got sacked. But it's mostly about the run play. Like I said, you have that option where you can just, you know, keep them on their toes, man. Don't just let them see the same thing over and over. These are really good for that. Next up, we got the Stretch Alert X Looky. Now this is, to me, a little bit more um, the type of run play that's going to break off a big run. This is more of a, a big run, run play, uh, and you can see. I mean, the blocking just missed right there, and I'm still gonna get a big carry. Uh, but I could have got. It. I probably could have easily housed it if that run or that receiver would have hit that safety. But this is probably the best run play in the in, in the package, based off of how how explosive the, the carry can be. And if for whatever reason, say they're loading the, the the side you're running to, you can throw to the receiver. The receiver is a decent option. If they're loading up to one side, you could always pull it back. You know, like right there, that was a double safety blitz. So I don't want to set, you know, necessarily run into that. Um, so you have your option. I mean, if, if it looks like you come to the line and there's no real run lanes, obviously you can just hit the pass. Next up, we got the jet touch pass. Another really good play here. I mean, the fullback's gonna gonna seal the edge and act as an additional blocker. Um, once again, I don't really have my fastest receiver running this, but uh, that would be helpful. You just put, uh, make sure your, your slot's your most athletic receiver. Um, and like I said, I mean, you're seeing, you know, the blocking here is just setting up perfectly. So this is, I mean, to get to house call this with, with Hogan is really impressive. <laughs> so definitely, without a doubt, a really good run. Next up, we got the jet touch pass. Another really good play here. I mean, the fullback's going to seal the edge and act as an additional blocker. Um, once again, I don't really have my fastest receiver running this. But uh, that would be helpful. You just put, uh, make sure your, your slot's your most athletic receiver. Um, and like I said, I mean, you're seeing, you know, the blocking here is just setting up perfectly. So this is, I mean, to get to house call this with, with Hogan is really impressive. <laughs> so definitely, without a doubt, a really good run. Next up, we got the PA short post. This check and release here gonna get open under a lot of uh, cover threes and whatnot if it's a man coverage though you're pretty much stuck with the with the comeback route because this play really doesn't have a lot of good man beaters but uh, the check and relief but the check and release is probably my read um, in most zones although I'm getting a lot of man coverages here I would say put a good running back replacement in for um, for this uh, for this fullback, make sure you got somebody that can catch and run a little bit. But I'm not getting any zones anyway. 
So I don't know if I'll ever be able to show them off, but here we go. Like I said, I'm forcing it to this guy. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to show off this play because I'm not really getting a lot. There we go. So that was like an all-out blitz. And you can see how, you know, we finally get his own coverage where we can make this guy do something. Next up, we got the PA boot slide. So this player here, no real adjustments needed. You just have a lot of really good zone beaters across the center of the field. If I can get a good throw there, which that was almost that almost led me astray. But you're just going front to back. You're just kind of reading the A route to the RB route. And, you know, one of these routes should be open. You can see the B route's really getting a lot of openings right here. But he's just, I'm just not getting good throws. If I could get a throw to the middle there, it'd be nice. But he's getting, um, he's getting wide. I mean, this is just, like I said, it's just pulling the defense. And then the comeback route. Should be open nine times out of ten as well, whether it's man or zone. That'll be your bottom dollar play. So I'm just reading front to back, and then if none of those are open, I mean, right here we got the good catch and run underneath. I'll take the first one that I see open, and if nothing's open, the, the, the comeback route will be. Next up, we got the stretch alert X looky. I mean, these stretches are really good, so I would say ultimately um, that'd be the uh, the money play on the, on the play. But if it's a heavy man coverage... You can always hit this uh, hit this slant, as you can see right there. I, I took too long to determine it right there. But if it's a, if somebody's running a lot of man blitzes, the slant obviously is going to make a, a lot of sense. So I'm going to hit that slant one time. Like I said, right there, boom. That was a zone, but you can see. I mean, it's going to get open nine times out of ten anyway. Favorite play. And one of the reasons that I chose the Cardinals, because I'm pretty sure this plays also in the Chiefs. Obviously, it was in the past. I don't know if it still is. But one of my second favorite options um, to run would be the QB draw, which, you know, like I said, if you run this enough, your opponents are going to come out in smaller packages. They're going to come out in stuff like this, giving you, because they're going to think, hey, you don't have a running back. Why would you run the ball? But you really do. So let's go ahead and let's pick uh, random. So if you, start, if you notice your opponent starts coming out in smaller packages or, you know, less blitzes because they're trying to man or zone these these receiving routes. All you have to do is come out in a quarterback draw. You'll catch him off guard. Um, you know, motion this guy out because, one, it moves out the cornerback, and, two, it looks like the same play. And then I'm just going to hit him with a surprise run. Now, obviously, I like, to, I like to slide pretty much every time, depending on who your quarterback is. I find quarterbacks fumble on design runs this year. They didn't necessarily do that last year. Um, and even though Kyler Murray is, like, one of the fastest QBs, uh, in the game, maybe in the history of the game, he just doesn't feel that fast turning up field like like on these runs. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it's still like I said, this is not something you're gonna do a lot. You're just gonna keep your opponent honest, and you can steal some some pretty good yards uh, when you do do this. You know, what I mean, it's a it's a good uh, it's a good look. But you want to keep your opponent honest, even if you don't have a running back, you still want to keep them keep them honest. Give them something to look at. Let them know that this is an option. I've used this in like goal line scenarios too, and it's pretty good. <laughs> it's still a, it's still a good run, um, and it uh, it worked. So next up, another really good pass play is the bunch trail. Let's go ahead and let's pick that. This is not a bad play like this. You have a lot of routes over the middle. Uh, I like to simplify it though. It's a little bit too, uh, too a little too crazy on the inside. I like to put Y on a streak, and then put RB on an out route. And what that's going to do, I mean, it's, for one, like I said, it's going to simplify the reads. There, I mean, if they don't cover them off the line, I'm going to take that tight end quite a bit. But if they don't simplify the, the if, I, if I don't simplify the reads, I mean, it, it's, to me, it's really simple. I mean, I know right off the bat, based off of formation, that this RB route is going to get open outside. It's essentially a bench switch concept between that and A. I'm just going from the lowest route back. Uh, and I, I, like I said, if I have, like if anything, I definitely have a check down with Larry Fitzgerald, who's going to be over here one-on-one -on -one pretty much every play. I find the cover twos, uh, the safeties converge a little bit more than that, but obviously there it didn't happen. A lot of times, like I said, this streak will be open. Your opponent, once again, will probably be paying attention to um, the bunch side. They might be using more towards the bunch, um, just like in the, uh, for the for the previous play. So that a lot of times that, that streak route will be perfect complement wide open right away uh, if you come out in this formation. Because like I said, they'll be expecting, if they see this formation, they'll be expecting the first play. And then a lot of times you can just hit this, this streak right over the middle for a quick hitter, uh, you know. So don't be uh, don't be surprised if that's uh, if that's immediately available. So doing this one more time, like I said, I'm I'm trying. If it's a cover two, that a route's going to be money uh, with Isabella. Is that as I make a dude miss? I mean, I thought you know I thought he was going to get caught from behind there. I mean, he's got a good juke, but he didn't come out of it very quickly. Let's do this again. 
Like I said, that's your cover two for sure, but you obviously have this too as well <laughs> for a cover two if I can get going. No. Here's a cover three, I can tell. Although, I mean, this guy here, he's been getting open against cover two and cover three. So, he's typically a cover two, but like I said, it's been there. It's been there on both. Here's another, you know, wrap the middle cover two. So, like I said, you just can't miss. Just reading these three receivers. That's all I'm doing. So, oh, that was a great throw. I mean, you can miss if it's a bad throw. But <laughs> you can miss then. Do this again. So I'm, I'm, that's a cover three, but he'll get up the cover three seam as well. You know what I mean? Like that'll 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 happen. Wasn't obviously the window wasn't as big, but that'll happen. So like I said right there. I mean, a cover there. He just <laughs> just bomb it through the middle of cover two. If you don't change that mid read, obviously he's gonna lose. Is the drag under? Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. But first, I really want to make sure I got all my guys in the right places. And I'd say that Larry Fitzgerald is in the perfect spot because he's not really going to do anything here. His job is really just to pull coverage anyway. So I'm going to pick, uh, you know, this guy right here, I'm going to put my fastest receiver here over Hakeem Butler. We'll go Isabella. Um, I got my running back here, which is really nice. I mean, that's going to be my check down anyway, so that's going to be like the perfect guy for that. So you can see I only really have three wide receivers. It looks like I have like a five wide, but I have my tight end here. Um, you know, at the uh, in the inside spot, which is fine because I want somebody kind of reliable and uh, durable anyway. So let's go ahead and let's pick that play on the other side. We're just going to go random. Um, you know, I you, you might see like random nickels because when you're going to see, you know, if you're waiting on the defensive side to pick plays, you're going to see a three wide, one tight end, one, you know, running back. So to start, you'll probably see a lot of random nickels. That's where most people base defenses are based in anyway. Um, I might kick it up a notch later and go back to dollar. Because, you know, a lot of people are going to do that. If you run this play enough, and there's no real reason to stop running this play. It's that type of play. We can pretty much run it all game. Uh, but if you run this play enough, people are going to start getting smaller and smaller in their packages to try to cover the, the way the field's going to be spread. But for now, like I said, let's go ahead and let's pick random nickel. So this play right here, I mean, it's to me, it's just designed perfectly. I don't, I don't really care what the defense is. This play is going to have a route for it. I'm typically starting by staring at the RB route. As you can see right here, I mean, he, th I think that was a cover three. He just kind of got open underneath it. So, I mean, you essentially have your gun bunch verticals um, set up on the inside. And then on the outside, as we got, I mean, this cover three play right here, by the way. If you get cover threes, you get, oh, and I missed. <laughs> oh, man, I, I was thinking touchdown there. I can't believe Clay actually made somebody miss. Let's go ahead and let's do that again. Uh, but like I said, I mean, you have your, your RB route for cover three underneath, but then you also have the Y route here, um, which is going to get open quite a bit. Uh, that was a really tight window, but I still snuck it over his head. So, I mean, like I said, I can run this play pretty much the entire game without without any issue. Um, but like I said, I mean, if they're going to... If, th if that guy is going to be beat outside like that to the to the, to the the boundary for the cover three underneath, you can see I have a much bigger play over the top. Um, so, like right here, this looks like it might be like a cover a cover, uh, cover two. Uh, I'm trying to get this guy over here. As you can see, that's a tight window, but I wanted the bigger play. I mean, the drag was open underneath. Like I said, pretty much everything on this play is going to get open. I used to run this a little differently. I used to put B on a streak. I used to put Fitzgerald on a drag. And you can still do that if it's a cover two. I find that that might, you know, that might still be the best way to run that. But they patched that. It wasn't very successful last year. And now this year, it's runs, it runs really well just like this. You don't have to make any adjustment at all. You can run it as is. All I like to do is motion out Kirk here, motion out the, uh, the RB route. And I basically have the exact same setup as the verticals, but I also have um, a setup from a play that's not in this playbook. That play is out of the gun tray wide flex, the PA crossers that I put out previous year. Basically, what I did with this play is all I did was put um, A on a streak, uh, B on, a, you know, leave B alone and put Y on a uh, drag, and it would create a lot of one play touchdowns to the B route right here. So I essentially have that and the verticals play all in the same play. And you can see, I mean, between the A route, the B route, and what Fitzgerald's doing, you pretty much have all three of those routes. So, um, you know, if, like I said, the only difference is Fitzgerald's out kind of far, but he's still going to have that effect. So, like I said, this play, you have two of the best concepts in the game, in my opinion, in the exact same play. So how could you lose? Um, like I said, as far as the reads go, everybody gets open. I mean, your B is going to be your most consistent check down route. Um, you know, I just took that there to whatever... So, like I said, you can see that the A, the B, and the, and the X route have that set up 
where the bunch has the vertical setup. So you have two of the better concepts in the game all in one play. So, you know, all I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to motion this guy out uh, because that's the same thing I do in the verticals play. And you pretty much, I mean, if you, it, the way that this spreads the field, pretty much everybody gets open. As far as the reads go, like I said, pretty much everybody gets open. If it's a cover one man or a cover zero, if it's cover zero, I mean, you can block clay. You know what I mean? If somebody's sending the, the house on you and you need, you don't, obviously you don't have a running back, um, that's, the, that's the best thing you can do. You can't block any of the receivers, though, but you can block the tight end still. So that'll give you a little bit of, uh, you know, extra blocking if somebody runs out something a little bit heavy. Uh, and that route, you don't, I mean, it is a good route. I don't want to get rid of it, but you can live without it if you have to. U ultimately, if somebody's running a cover zero, the RB route's going to be a home run anyway. So you're going to want that extra blocking. Um, but that's pretty much it. So, you know, like I said, as far as the reads go, if it's cover three, you have two really good cover three routes. The RB route steals outside really quick and easy. You can see how he's just going to get around the defense since I motioned him out. But also the, um, you know, that's going to spread to the point where Clay is going to get open too against cover threes. So here, this looks like if I'm going to guess a cover two. Um, you know, once again, I mean, like I said, everything's going to get open. If it's a cover two, which that was, Clay's huge. He's going to be open, big against either coverage. Whether it's cover two, cover three, or cover four, it doesn't really matter. Clay's going to get inside, especially cover four, because there's just so, you know, there's so little as far as coverage inside and cover fours that that's just going to be easy money. I don't really know what that coverage was, but it doesn't really matter. That's the thing. This, is, this play is so easy. You don't really have to read a defense necessarily. So here it looks like we have a cover one. Um, this outside route here is going to be best because obviously the inside route works too, but that's closer to the safety. Next up, we got the 45 quick base. This play, I mean, it just, you know, works as is. You, you, you're going to have a... a no real adjustments for this play. Um, you, you know, a lot of times that, that pulling guard can act as a good fullback if he's fast enough. Sometimes I find you can't wait for him. Uh, but if you have, if you have a, a decent speed one, especially going inside like that, then you have a good play. If it's an inside run, if it's an outside run, you got to outrun him a lot of times. Ready. Ready. But it's a good play. I mean, obviously, you can see I don't really have um, the same amount of blocking to the left as I do to the right, but it's still really effective. It's essentially a counter play. So there we go. Like I said, I mean, I just, if I have outside, I'm going to take outside. <laughs> and the blocking is just really sticky. It's a glitchy formation. Next up, we got the 45 quick base. This play, I mean, it just, you know, works as is. You, you, you're going to have a... a oof. No real adjustments for this play. Um, you, you know, a lot of times that, that pulling guard can act as a good fullback if he's fast enough. Sometimes I find you can't wait for him. Um, but if you have, a, if you have a, a decent speed one, especially going inside like that, then you have a good play. If it's an inside run, if it's an outside run, you got to outrun him a lot of times. But it's a good play. I mean, obviously, you can see I don't really have um, the same amount of blocking to the left as I do to the right, but it's still really effective. It's essentially a counter play. So there we go. Like I said, I mean, I just, if I have outside, I'm going to take outside. <laughs> and the blocking is just really sticky. It's a glitchy formation. Except the motion halfback draw is probably the best play to run off of this because, like I said, your users are really going to start following this. And then you have a scenario where you just have, you know, the motion, they're not going to pay attention to the motion the same way that they paid attention to the mo they would otherwise because they're going to think it's that play. And you can see it's a really consistent inside run. So, like I said, they have a couple of different plays that look very similar. I mean, obviously, this is, uh, you know, if I, in this scenario, I probably want that tight end back in. <laughs> and you can see I'm bouncing outside a lot because the blocking is sticky. I mean, this is just, it's an overpowered new formation. It just is what it is. But like I said, I probably want to take Isabella back out, put a tight end in there, and then this run play is going to be that much nicer. But uh, without a doubt, I mean, I'm, I didn't even run the ball. But I'm talking too much. <laughs> I had lanes. I didn't lanes inside and outside there, and I messed it up. But without a doubt, this is definitely probably the best play to run off of the back of this pass play so that your opponent doesn't necessarily think um, you know every time they see that motion it's going to be it's going to be that home run draw plays really work best against like a, a passive defense and this type of play this type of pass play will probably get people getting really heavy on zones you know what i'm saying they'll be popping a lot of zones maybe they'll try to blitz you out of it but if they don't try to blitz you out of it you definitely can hit them with this next up we have the verticals 
Very similar setup to some vertical plays and a lot of other formations like the gun bunch. Just motion this guy out, drag the air, drag the air out. That's pretty much it. I mean, you have, you know, the, the X route's going to be a really good check down, although I threw it way too late there, so I couldn't turn up field. Got to throw it earlier than that. And um, obviously, you know, the B route's going to be cover three. It's going to be, you know, man coverage, like right here. Just wait till it turns up field, and then I got to catch and run under it. Against a top flight cornerback, um, covering and coverage doesn't matter. It's going to be cover three underneath. Should be cover two as well. Sit right there. I mean, that's, you know, all, if I had pass laid outside a little bit, I might have turned up the field, but I also might have threw an incompletion. So that's the risky run with the pass lead on these short routes, on these quick routes. You get a lot of uh, inaccurate throws when you, when you do that. Um, and then, like I said, the A route here, I mean, that's, that's a good route too, but it's not as good as it is in the bunch. Next up, we have the verticals. Very similar setup to some vertical plays and a lot of other formations like the gun bunch. Just motion this guy out, drag the air, drag the air out. That's pretty much it. I mean, you have, you know, the, the X route's going to be a really good check down, although I threw it way too late there, so I couldn't turn up field. Got to throw it earlier than that. And um, obviously, you know, the B route's going to be cover three. It's going to be, you know, man coverage, like right here. Just wait till it turns up field, and then I got to catch and run under it. Against a top flight cornerback, um, covering and coverage doesn't matter. It's going to be cover three underneath. Should be cover two as well. Sit right there. I mean, that's, you know, all, if I had a pass laid outside a little bit, I might have turned up the field, but I also might have threw an incompletion. So that's the risky run with the pass lead on these short routes, on these quick routes. You get a lot of uh, inaccurate throws when you, when you do that. Um, and then, like I said, the A route here, I mean, that's, that's a good route too, but it's not as good as it is in the bunch. Next up out of the shotgun cluster, we got the Z spot shake. So I'm going to motion out the running back, put him on an out route, and then I'm going to put the B route on a streak. And now you have basically a, you know, a bench switch on the left and, uh, and a, you know, as you can see, I mean, that, that out route is a little bit, you know, sneakier than like your typical post route. As you can see how fast it turns out. Um, and you have it on both sides, so... <laughs> So you really, you see, I mean, I just have, you know, they're, they're, they're I don't know, this formation is just, just needs, it seems to be lightning fast compared to uh, some other formations. Um, but I definitely think I mean, it might be the best play to go to the, uh, you know, there's just openings all over the field. I mean, you, you want to split the field in half pre-snap, but I couldn't necessarily tell you which one's the better one. I'd say probably the side with the least amount of defenders, <laughs> which would be the left side. It's definitely less going on, but you can see, I mean, this, this play is just pooping all over every coverage. Man or zone, doesn't matter. So, like I said, I'm going to go, um, you know, what side do I have the advantage? I'd say it makes the most sense. I have, like I said, this is a nice little check down here, but, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily have that on the other side, but you can see how helpful that is. So it's really up to you. I mean, I don't really, I don't really have a preference which side's better. <laughs> I mean, they're both really good, so. Like I said, the underneath stuff's there, the over-the-top stuff's there. It's just some really, really glitchy outside routes. Ready. Let's go ahead and let's do this again. Like I said, the B route's just there to pull cover back. That's all he really does. Um, it's like I said, I, I took a long turn to make my determination, but the A route was always open. I was just trying to get something bigger, to be honest. This play absolutely destroys cover two. Um, the only adjustment that I would make is, I mean, the, the Y route really doesn't do anything, so I would just put him on a slant, I guess. Uh, but yeah, essentially, I mean, you're just going to get outside the cover two. I mean, just streaking up the sideline, you know what I mean? <laughs> the cornerback doesn't really hang on. So, I mean, the Y route, like I said, you could double drag him or something. It, the Y route really doesn't do much. Um, it's all a cover two play anyway, we're trying to get outside here. I would say, I mean, even putting the Y route on a streak just to pull that safety back um, would make the most sense. I mean, that's just, you know, like I said, it's just, it's all about this outside route anyway. So this is essentially like a four verticals route to an extent, but spread so wide to the line of scrimmage. 
that this just beats every time. And that's Chris Hogan. If I had a real guy out there who knows how big a play this would be. If I flip this and ran to Samuel's side, say. You know, he's a, he's a speed demon. So I guess he's not the route runner, though. <laughs> but it still works. So it's whatever. Next up, we got the 45 quick base. Uh, just, you know, good good run to have. Um, there, I'm, I, I hesitated to bounce it outside. A lot of times, the, run, the, the play will be inside. It's kind of the, the, the diagram, anyway. So, like, right there. I mean, yeah, I'm just waiting for that fullback to set up to get his block, or that pulling lineman, rather, to act as a fullback. And then I'm just kind of taking it inside. Like I said, right? I mean, there's always a cutback lane, too. Like, this, there's, there's going to be holes, the way that this play aligns. Just got to find them. A lot of times, it's not necessarily in the direction that you want to go. So, like I said, if, if uh, sometimes if the blocks hesitate like that or the defenders hesitate like that, sometimes you just want to take it outside. But if the blockers are crashing, a lot of times inside is the best way to go. <coughs> but if the blockers are crashing in, a lot of times inside is the best way to go. Like right there, just cut back lane. You know, let them take themselves out of the play as they're, as they're over aggressive. So if they're passive, take it outside. If they're aggressive, take it inside. Next up, we got the fake jet halfback seam. So this formation's got some really exotic, um, you know, jet play, jet style plays. Uh, but you can see this one here. It's essentially a verticals with that fake. Um, you just have to work. The only thing you got to really worry about. You can't make any motions to make this play better, um, but then it already is. But the only thing you got to worry about is that is like a really, um, you know, long. I'm gonna go ahead and take off with the quarterback. That's probably your your next option other than the, <laughs> if it's a man like that. But the, the, the play action is kind of long, um, so you got to worry about that. We're about getting sacked. Like this play here, actually has more uh, of a chance of get losing yards than the actual jet sweep itself. Uh, but as far as the reads go, I mean, you're just kind of if it's a zone, this Y route's gonna be open under it a lot. Uh, but if it's you know a man coverage, a lot of you know, like that, that that linebacker didn't know what to do. <laughs> and most users won't either if you mix these three plays in together. This isn't a great play, but it's something that's worth. Um, looking at, you know what I mean? Because there's definitely, like this RB route, if it's a cover three, that's going to be the best route. You can make a really big play out of it. But you can't get out of the out of the play fake quick Ready? enough to really uh, to make that consistent. But still a good play. Next up, we got the jet. <laughs> Next up, we got the fake jet pass power. Similar concept. Um, you know, you just have the quarterback running a power option or more like a power sweep, uh, which to me is a pretty good... Uh, pretty good setup so let's go and let's do that again hopefully I can take it out wide like I said this is a good play if you got like a Lamar Jackson or like a Michael Vick whenever he drops this year uh, but this is like this is like a straight up like a wildcat <laughs> like you're good like you're pulling back the wildcat here and then I didn't follow my blocks yeah it's like a straight up wildcat play right here you know what I'm saying like if I get the, the blocking isn't always the most consistent but you can see it's a good play yeah, this is like a straight up wildcat here. I mean, you really need a mobile QB to do it. But, you know, there's plenty of those out there. As you can see, Cam Newton, he's not fast, but he's doing his job. So, definitely a good play. Definitely a good wrinkle. Nobody's going to see this coming because it's just such a... Look at that. And then I'm going to bust a big one <laughs> with the quarterback. Like, who's going to see this coming? And like I said, you got Lamar Jackson. Woo! Woo! That's going to be dirty. Next up, we got the jet pass fake zone. So this is just another, um, you know, we have another jet sweep play, and they're all pretty good out of this formation. Uh, the full, I mean, the the, the, the uh, running back doesn't become a fullback though, which was kind of like one of the better wrinkles. This is a downgraded version compared to the one where the fullback actually turns into a blocker. And once again, you still got to put your fastest guy at the at this at this uh, slot receiver spot. But you can see it's not as good without that without that extra blocker. It's really just a, I don't want to say a mediocre play, but it just doesn't you know. Plus, I have a mediocre receiver running it, but it really doesn't have the same um, you know edge uh, created by the blocking that you would normally get. So this play, it's it's a good play to have, but it's not as good as some other plays. Next up, we got the jet touch pass. Make sure you sub your best speed receiver in this slot. I didn't do that, so it's going to cost me. I can't even get out of it. I'm stuck with it. So that, that is what it is. But like I said, this is a really good 
a uh, really good toss play because you got a lead blocker that comes around and helps you out as uh, Chris Hogan fumbles. Like I said, he's the worst candidate for this. I should have used like a, like if I had, um, you know, Samuel in there or something, I'd probably be fine. But like I said, this is just a really good play. Otherwise, just need a speed guy. He's not a speed guy. I thought I subbed him out entirely. So here we go. We got a, a cover three safety dropping in the box. And it still won't matter. Like I said, I just have the blocking is just excellent. You know what I mean? Because you got that fullback style running back uh, in front of them. So that's going to spring you for big plays. I said right here. I mean, like I said, boom. Like typically that guy would have caught me easy. But since I have this extra blocker, it's just a really phenomenal, phenomenal trick play. So moving on. Next up, we got the jailbreak screen. This player right here seems like a little bit like an RPO. Uh, but you, I mean, you have like the screen option, which to me is probably gonna be the best play. But you also got a slant, so if your user darts off too quickly, um, you can hit him with uh, you can hit him with the slant. But realistically, I mean, this is this is the play. The, jail, the actual screen itself is gonna be the most consistent. Uh, you just have to watch the user when you run it. Like I said, this is like an RPO to the user, and then if they run like those all-out mans that you see online, you obviously like a double safety blitz like that, you, you got an easy easy slant play right there. So like I said, I mean, this is, to me, you know, the, the, the blocking holds up, which is somewhat inconsistent at times. The jailbreak screen can be one of the better better screen plays. Next up, we got the jailbreak screen. This player right here seems like a little bit like an RPO. Uh, but you, I mean, you have like the screen option, which to me is probably going to be the best play, but you also got a slant. So if your user darts off too quickly, um, you can hit him with, uh, you can hit him with a slant. But realistically, I mean, this is this is the play. The, jail, the actual screen itself is going to be the most consistent. Uh, you just have to watch the user when you run it. Like I said, this is like an RPO to the user. And then if they run like those all-out mans that you see online, you obviously like a double safety blitz like that, you, you got an easy easy slant play right there. So like I said, I mean, this is, to me, you know, the, the, the blocking holds up, which is somewhat inconsistent at times. The jailbreak screen can be one of the better, better screen plays. Next up, we got the Y sale. This play right here is really all about the table route to the running back. Um, but if he's not there, I mean, the tight end over the top shoes is going to be pretty good. You can also drag the Y route. Um, that's just another good another good option, especially if it's a man coverage. But you can see, like, the separation by dragging the Y route uh, is, is about as good as it's going to get. You're going to have, um, you know, three receivers. One of them is going to be open between the tight end. Yeah, the running back and the wire out. One of the three is going to be open pretty much every time. And you can see how they drop back to the tight end here. You just take the running back. So it's a really, really simple play. Simple read. Um, just reading the inside receivers. You're not really reading the outside receivers. Uh, although the, the, that one outside receiver um, can do a pretty good job. I mean, that's, that's you know, they're, they're stretching the field mostly. But one of your check downs is going to be the square route. You could also, if it's man coverage, you don't really have a lot of man beaters. So you could put them on a comeback route just in case you get a man like... You know, you might like right there. I should have threw the, the A route. I just was trying. I was I was reading the comeback because I was putting my focus there. But without a doubt, I mean, obviously, against zone, the the, the tight end um, is definitely going to be. It's going to be the tight end, the running back. Like right here, this is my check down. The square route was coming across the field, but I'm talking too damn much. So since you don't really have a, a ton of man beaters, you can put the you can make that comeback route your man beater, and then um, you know there. That, I guess that might have been a man coverage. I really wasn't paying attention talking too much let's do that one more time I said that's definitely uh, a zone so we're gonna our man so like I said that that square ends pretty good you can also make him a comeback route next up we got this fake screen verts so here I mean this is a you can throw it to the wire out but it's ultimately just a fake out you know you just want to have that I mean it's it's that's still a decent route but you can see like it's a cover three I mean this just totally messes with the zones Plays like this are meant to fake out the user, so they might follow this if you run the screen or if you run the, the, the motion toss, and they might think that's the play, and then you can hit them with stuff like the slant. And the middle probably be, the middle will probably be open for stuff like that. Next up, out of the shotgun empty base, we have the jet sweep. Here go, here go. Ready, ready. It's a good play. I mean, you know, you just it's just you're, this jet type of jet sweep's been in the game a little while. At least I think it has. They might have added it. I know it was in the, you know, they've had the pass plays that look like this out of this particular playbook, but they didn't, I don't remember having a jet sweep out of it. But still, either way, it's a good variation, um, obviously, to mix in, uh, depending on what type of defense you're looking at. You can see I'm getting some heavier looking sets, which I wasn't, 
you know, necessarily planning on. But it's, you know, you got your running back run to play too, so you have a good running back. You don't take much of a loss here. You know what I mean? Like if you don't, if you don't make it up the field, it's not going to be much of a loss, like a yard or two tops. So very, very uh, low risk play compared to some, um, you know, reverses and whatnot. But like I say, you can see you can get a big play too. <laughs> Yo, I couldn't make that dude miss. I'd have been gone. There was nothing else there but green grass. Next up, we got the motion halfback screen. This is a good play. I mean, if they're running like uh, man coverage, like this looks like it might be, all you really have is the slant. Like I said, I wouldn't throw that. I mean, if it's a man coverage, you can throw the slant. But if it's a zone coverage, I'd say hit the hit the hit the uh, the screen play. And you'll know the second you motion across what it is. So that's one of the beauties of this. <laughs> so like I guess I mean, this looks like a man actually messed up. So <laughs> like it's a tight man, but he made it. You know what I mean? So still waiting for that for that uh, zone play. Let's get that zone in here. So here we got that zone. Here we got that zone. So like I said, we definitely got better blocking there, but he still came out and we made the play. So either way, it's uh, you know it's a good play if you can get it to work. I, I hate how long it takes for the motion to happen. I wish it would just snap already, because you can see it gives them time to recover. But like I said, if you can get that working, you know that's an easy you know close to ten yard catch and run easy. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.